Hello everyone. Now we shall see today the extrusion which is one of the most important operation in polymer processing. When we talk of extrusion, extruder it is placed on a robust base which is bolted to the ground so that extruder assembly does not move. It also absorbs the vibrations. The extruder sits on a base such that the extruder as well as its output assembly are at average height of about 1 meter which is good for the operator. This is a typical screw. What we can see here is that motor is connected to the extruder through the thrust bearing. Through the hopper the feed enters into the extruder. Then the temperature keeps on changing along the length. Initial temperature is low so that resin what comes in does not melt. Then the barrel supplies the heat because there are heaters onto the barrel and towards the end what we see is a breaker plate. We will see what is a breaker plate design. The thermocouples are provided to know the temperature. The screw can be divided into three zones, feed zone, compression zone and metering zone. In the feed zone, the polymer resin is conveyed in the forward direction. The depth of the screw in this section is more so that it can accommodate the resin or polymer. As the resin moves in the forward direction, it is heated. The heat is supplied from the barrel. The gap between the barrel and the screw is very less and the resin gets pressed against the barrel. The heat is transferred when resin is pressed against the barrel. Melted resin falls onto the screw surface and thus all the resin gets heated and melted by the end of feed zone. The depth of the screw goes on decreasing along the length of the screw. The depth is more in the feed section as compared to that in the compression zone. When the depth decreases, it reduces the volume and increases the melt pressure. The ratio of depth in the feed section to that in the compression zone is called the compression ratio. Most commonly used compression ratio is 3 to 4. Compression zone is also known as plasticizing zone. In metering zone, the melt is conveyed and the vent port optionally provided allows the removal of solvent or monomer vapors or any air that may be trapped. The length of feed zone melting or plasticizing zone and the metering zone are designed differently for different reasons. The extent of radial flow results in mixing of melt. Most commonly used flight angle is about 17 to 20 degrees. The screw design also depends upon the final product that is whether compounding, pelletizing, blown film, cast film, sheet or pipe etc. Any resistance to each type of dye is different. After the metering zone, the melt passes through screen pack, breaker plate and adopter for the die. We can see the action of screen pack and breaker plate. The screen pack as I said earlier, arrests any agglomerates or non-molten part. Any big agglomerate will not be able to pass through the screen pack because these are small screens. The large size screen is first placed, then smaller size, then smaller size. Thus, the total pressure drop for the liquid to flow through the screen pack is reduced or minimized. After the screen pack, there is a breaker plate. The breaker plate has many orifices of larger size, much larger size than that compared to the screen pack. And these holes allow the material to flow smoothly and any radial component of the flow is stopped and entire flow starts moving in the axial direction as it is shown over here in the die.